Hello, Cancer. Thank you for watching my channel. I'm going to be looking into your sign for the next couple of weeks. See what's going on. Thank you for watching my channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Tawana. I'm clairvoyant. And I just want to mention a few things that I have going on. I do have some new products on my website. If you guys are looking for shea butter, I have strawberry, gardenia, creed, cool water, Fahrenheit. I have a lot of different ones on there. You'll just have to look and see. I do have a lot of different sages as well. Um, and a lot of spiritual candles on there as well. And I also want to show you guys my new master deck. This is my deck. If you see anybody using these on their channel, you will know that they came from me. And um, if you want to purchase this deck, you can text my phone or email me and I'll get this shipped out for you guys if you want to purchase it. I ship between three to five business days. So let's see what's going on with cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, signs. I'm meaning to get you guys up, but I've been busy. So, cancer. I feel like if you had any delays in your life around this time, I feel like they're going to go away. Cancer. I do see someone showing up here in your, your recent past. We have a King of Pentacles, you guys. Okay. Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. And then I see where you're coming out of the pole to in the recent past as well. And then I see um, you pretty much, you know, coming out of a situation where you were waiting on something too at this time. So, yeah, seeing some changes here. Um, seeing some celebrations here too. Three of Cups showing up and the Fool Reverse. Also, the Ace of Wands, a new start. There's some growth in your situation as well. But the Fool Reverse is showing up there, so I gotta clarify that. Also, see you coming out of these problems too with these with this drama. This is showing up in a future position, so the drama is going to go away with the Five of Swords reverse. Um, I also feel like a lot of you are going cold too. Okay, about a situation you're not really, you know, yourself. You're in reverse, Cancer, so you know how that is. <laughs> um. I'm going to figure out why that's happening, too. And I also feel like you're not letting go of something at this time as well. So let's see. What's what's going on here? Cancer. I feel like at this time, so a part of you is telling you to go out and do something, but you don't want to do it, okay? This could be you getting out, having some fun, getting you some me time, but you're stopping yourself. I also feel like whatever conflict you had going on, it could have been like something connected to your job, okay? Whatever kind of work you do. And I also feel like you're having a lot of negative thoughts about a situation too, okay? It has a lot to do with money that you don't have or, or the money you're trying to get. All right. For those of you dealing with water signs like yourself, I feel like you may be uh, either separated or about to be separated from somebody. Okay. I do feel like um, if you are separated, this person is going to try to come back to you. Okay. And I also feel for those of you that have been separated from somebody, I feel I feel like the connection is still there. Okay, some of y'all might be making a decision to go backwards around this time. All right. Or some of y'all could be thinking about marriage or something like that too. I see somebody getting back together. I feel like somebody hasn't forgot about somebody that they were dealing with too, with the water energy going on. I'm gonna do one more spread with my cards here and then I'm gonna switch to another deck. Stress, it looks like the stress is leaving your situation, okay? Uh, you had the five of swords reverse, now you got the nine of swords reverse. Very good, Cancer. Um, 
There's still going to be a problem with an earth sign, though. I'm going to just let you guys know that off the top. You're still going to get bored in that situation. And whoever's ghosting you, I feel like it's someone that keeps talking about they have to work or something. Or at your current job, you know, you may notice that somebody is not there anymore. And I also feel like somebody's having uh, some parties or something. Somebody could be drinking, have a lot of fun. Or somebody could be, you know, somebody could have cheated on, on cancer, too. Deal. but you're you're trying not to think about who cheated on you right now you don't even want to think about that at all um i feel like you're stopping yourself from spending money okay you should go ahead and and at least buy you something that you want and i feel like you're waiting on your soulmate connection to come in okay or you may feel like somebody's going to start an argument with you again too because i keep seeing this type of energy, you know, back and forth, on and off with you guys. There is blockages, too. I feel like the blockage has something to do with you just being happy, being yourself. You know, you want to be this supportive person, but something to tell you, don't do that, okay? Don't don't be so nice to people. Stop trying to be so caring and everything, okay? Or somebody won't let you be nice to them. Okay, it's like they they're blocking you from being nice to them. And I feel like you're just gonna walk away from something. What is all what is all this shit about cancer? Because now it's talking about you leaving. Because something is just not right. Maybe you go over your head over and over again to see if a relationship is right, and then you just realize that it's just not right for you. You don't feel like you're winning this situation at all. Okay. you're just ready to let it go let it go look at all this stuff letting me know that you're unhappy you're unsatisfied you're getting fl frustrated in a situation cancer it's it's no good okay and blockages all over the place okay these blockages could have something to do with work travel your home person whatever it is i see the blockages here Let's go into the Romance Angel cards because I like to use these too. I used to use these a long time ago on the second channel. Let's see what they say. I'm just going to pull out three cards for the Romance Angels. All right, we got new love. <laughs> new love, okay? This this situation right here is about a new person coming into your life and you having romantic feelings for this person. And that's good when you you do meet somebody new, you're just like, man, this, this feels good. It always feels good in the beginning, you guys. And you have your trust in reverse, so there may not be any trust, okay? And we also have the religious factors in, in the reverse, too. All right, so I feel like I feel like right now you're really not even thinking about religious factors at all. You're not even focusing on that type of stuff. You know, it's not even a question. It's not even a subject. It's not nothing right now. That's how I read that card. Using my intuition on it. Some of y'all are just starting your back on that type of stuff right now. Okay, so let's go into seeing what's going on with you. In the right of way here. All right, here you are leaving again with the Six of Swords, you guys. Seeing love triangles in the past position here. Seeing where you did not want to jump on anything that you were uncomfortable with. Okay, I'm seeing the Aries that's no good here too, and I'm seeing Pisces that's no good here too. Okay, so let me see what's going on. Because some of y'all have fire energy here in reverse, and I don't like that energy. Some of y'all may be feeling like you just can't connect with that person. Some of y'all might have had problems with that person. It could be, for some of y'all could have been your mother. Your mother could have been a messed up person. Or some of y'all could have had problems having children with somebody. Maybe you had a miscarriage or somebody had um, 
a situation where their tubes are tied and can't have any children anymore, and that could cause somebody to go out and cheat. Um, I also feel like some of y'all were settling for these bad, you know, job opportunities too. And some of y'all got into a job not even like. You don't even like the job anymore that you got into. Okay, I'm seeing problems here with Aquarius too. Some of y'all may be thinking about Aquarius or they're thinking about you, but that situation is dead and it's not looking good. Some of y'all are, you know, holding on to your money too at this time. And at the same time, people around you might be needy and asking for things. And you're trying to save your money. All right. Some of you are being very honest about things that you are uncomfortable with. You know, you feel like you haven't had any justice in the situation at all. Um, and I definitely feel like if you're dealing with any type of air signs right now, I feel like they're going to become very moody around this time too. If you're dealing with water, I feel like this person is very insecure. Okay. And that person lies too much, especially if it's a Pisces, I feel like they're lying too much and that can cause a lot of conflict. And definitely watch your fire energy too. Like if you're around people with fire in a chart, they may try to squash it with you. Um, if you go to any parties or try to hook up with anybody from your past or something, I feel like that person may talk about marriage with you or something. And some of y'all might try to work on relationships around this time. Some of y'all might have one person that you're already with and you're looking into something else new around this time. All this making you sad on one of those ends there, you know, with the lover's car. Okay. Um, do some sadness there. When it comes to your home situation, I feel like some of y'all want to get outside of that home. Y'all don't even really want to be in that situation anymore. Some of y'all could be married and talking to another married person, too. I do see that going on. What is going on with you, Cancer? A lot of shit going on here with Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Y'all getting real choosy. Y'all don't trust nothing around you right now either. I can tell you that. If you have conflict with this fire, like I said, I feel like it's not going to last long, okay? I feel like Aries is really going to be nice to you, but Pisces, they are no good for you right now, okay? And again, I see, like, slow communication, too. Somebody's trying to move out of their home, and they're getting slow communication about it, okay? That's probably not going to work out going to have some delays with you moving out of your home or even get divorces around this time too that may take a while for you to get a divorce if you're dealing with somebody with air in the past which i keep seeing libra energy i feel like there's some problems there okay there's there's too much judgment there somebody wants to be in control and rule over you okay and that's going to be a burden especially if it's leo Okay. And I also feel like somebody's taking their time coming towards you as well. And somebody's spying on you here too, okay? Because of a relationship has ended, okay? It could either be a uh, air sign, water sign, or fire, I'm seeing. Because I'm seeing all of those showing up here in the cards. Oh, one more spread with the right of weight. You just don't feel like things are going your, your way at all okay there's no growth in your situation there's decisions you have to make too today let's see what this is about i feel like this is about it could be about your vehicle okay it could be about your job it could be about delays that you have going in your life okay i feel like you're ready to cut something out okay it could be a marriage contract employment something okay I feel like you're going to pretty much be in your head about some truth that's being revealed, too. And, again, let's see what's going on with this. I see you guys being ghosted here, you know, thinking about these past memories. And then there's just, you know, either family or relationship going down here around this time as well. So, yeah, that's a lot of water going on there. Let's get back to cards. We're going to do this again. Let's see what shows up in mine. Answer. Okay, so there is going to be a situation where, you know, 
Some of y'all might be spending more time with your kids, grandkids, stuff like that. You may be doing some family things, okay? But there's going to be confusion around the whole situation, you know? Um, I feel like even, listen, with all this stuff going on, you're still going to be refusing to block out something that caused you pain, okay? It's going to take you a while to forget about what somebody's done to you, all right? But I do see your security, you know, coming back into play again, okay? But I feel like somebody, there's an outsider watching you here with this air energy, all right? For some of you, it could be air or um, Aries, I feel. And then I feel like you're trying to get rid of some burdens too. I really feel like this person is a burden, okay? This fire sign. And then I see a new start here. And I feel like there's balance, okay? We're give and take here. This could be some charity work for somebody too. And I also feel like there's going to be some blockages or messages too, especially if it's like earth or fire. I feel like you can get into some real heated arguments with somebody with fire energy, okay? Because they're acting really fucked up. Leo, Sag, Aries energy here or earth. Oh yeah, this is nothing but fire in the earth which is no good yeah what is this about cancer no 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 i don't want that to happen for you cancer cancer is my rising you guys I always try to mention that in the videos and go ahead and subscribe to the channel too if you haven't subscribed to this channel cancer you got the seven of cups Okay, this card is about confusion, fantasy choices, you know, wishful thinking. You do remember the people that have been using you, though. You you know that somebody tried to use you in the past. Okay, and if you know that, you're not going to jump on anything that's going to take you back down that road again. All right, there is unfinished business in your situation. Okay, but I feel like whatever that is, it's only a downfall. It's only a downfall with the Ace of Pentacles reverse, okay? And, yeah, you're going to be connecting with people that have fire and water. So watch for some messages or something. It could be children. It could be a lover. It could be a child. It could be a person, which I feel like possibly fire or water, okay? Now your cards are talking here about moving the fuck on from the situation, okay? Um... And at times you feel like you're not able to carry yourself too. At times you be feeling like you're ready to move. You're ready to jump out of a situation or you feel like your money situation has went down here. Okay. And whoever's watching you, I feel like that conflict is going to go away with this page of swords. That is going to go away. And I feel like when the conflict goes away, there's going to be new, probably a new job for somebody, a new opportunity or messages coming through. You know, but during this time, I mean, you, you're you still going to be, you know, trying to budget your money and you're not going to spend too much while all that stuff is going on. Yes. Let's look at the Romance Angels again. I'm going to give it a good shuffle again and then I'm going to end this video for cancer. All right, so for some cancers, it's talking about love yourself first. You know, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Okay, so pretty much, I mean, you have to do this, and this is going to attract people to you. And then for some cancer out there, it's telling you to free yourself. It's time to take back your, your control, you know what I mean? Just listen, it's, it's time to take back control of your life, pretty much. And then you have a true love card, too. Just the romance of a lifetime. Your soulmate connection or whatever you have going on. All right. So that's what I have for you guys. I hope I have helped you. And again, if you guys want to order my master deck, I have this available. And 
This deck is $65. There is 54 cards in this deck as well, just to give you some details on the cards. I wrote all the meanings on them so you can know what they mean and everything like that. Um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. I'm going to go into Scorpio. Have a good day.